Hello there, this is Dave Allen for No Stylus, and today we're going to have a look at an application called Twisted Wave. Let's get in there and see what we can do with it. It's a really good audio editor for the iPad and the iPhone, and I really like it. It cost me nine euros and it was well worth it because I can do some editing of audio files before I send them off to other places. So let's get started with a tap on that plus button down the bottom there and we'll start with a stereo file. Now what I've done is I've connected up my iRig microphone to this and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the record button. Now it does look a little bit weird when it first comes into the frame there and kind of crunches up. But as you can see, we do get a nice view of the waveform as it fills up the space that is available. And I really like this. Once we've got all the recording done, then we can get in there and do some more things with it. So let's do that now. So what I can do is I can tap on the screen there and move the playhead to where I want it to be. So I've put the playhead just there. And what I want to do is I want to select the audio that's behind it. So I start by moving my finger from the playhead button at the top there, moving the finger across to the right and selecting the sound. And I can do a number of things with it. What I can do is I can add some filters to it. So we'll go into this one here and I could say I want it to have a filter of a low pass or a high pass. And basically I can preview that and I can listen to what it sounds like before I apply the filter. So that's quite good. I like that. And there are other things I could do such as having a delay. So let's do a preview of this delay and see what it sounds like. In there, in there, in front front so as you can see, I was able to change some of the settings there. When I'm ready to use that, I can click on apply. And that'll make that bit there sound nice and weird. So another thing I can do is say if I want to put the playhead there and select that selection there, what I can do then is I can just delete it if I want to. So, so I can tap that and it's deleted. And if I want to put it back in again because I don't really want to delete it, I can tap on that there. Another thing that you can do is you can trim a selection. So for instance, okay, so I want to take from that bit there through to that bit there, and I want to trim it. So to trim it, so what I do is click on this button here. That was like a uh, trimming sort of thing, and that's cropped it. And again, if I don't really want that cropped, I can just click on that there and put it back as it was. So let's grab this bit of audio here and I can do audio copy and I can put it into another application. So let's go to compatible applications and I could go to smart recorder and there's a whole lot of other ones there that I could choose if I had them and I can place that copied audio into any of these ones here. I only have the one there that's available. So we're going to ignore that for the moment because I don't really want to put it into that one for the moment. So, so let's put this selected audio onto the clipboard and see what we can do with it. Let's put the play out there and we'll paste. So now I've got two sections that are exactly the same. So I can also change the sound volume by changing that slider there. So let's say that bit there, I want to do a fade out. So you see we've got a nice little fade out there. And I think it's brilliant the way that I can see what's going on there because the waveform shows me what the sound is going to do. It's going to get smaller and smaller until at the end there it's left down to nothing. And the same at the front there. So let's select that bit at the front and I'm going to do a fade in. So there we go. We've got a nice little fade in there now. Well, that was part one of Twisted Wave, the tutorial. And if you'd like to click on this here to go and watch part two.